What is up guys? Welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a header bar for your program. Now a header bar of course is a bar that appears at the top of your window and you can do some pretty cool stuff to it like add a title, add some icons, give those icons some functionality and it's a really cool way to customize your program. So let's title this header bar boom roasted and before we begin with the actual tutorial I'll show you guys a couple other things that you're probably gonna find yourself doing a lot so just for the main window before we like I said get to any of the header bar stuff usually you want to set border width so what this is going to do for your window is it's going to add some space between the content that's inside and the edges and you can do this with the individual widgets or you can just do it all at once I usually give it a width about 10 or so and just makes everything look a little bit better and also you know like in the button example where I ran the program and it was like the tiniest program ever because I was just trying to explain how to make one button well you can actually if you have your content that's rather small you actually probably want to do something like set um, default size right there so this is going to set a default size for your window so as soon as the user starts the program, let's say that you want the window to be 500 by 400. This is what that will do. And of course, if they want to, they can go ahead and resize it, maximize it, you know, um, stretch the borders out to whatever size they want. But this is just the initial size as soon as your program starts. So now let's get to making the header bar. And actually, Give myself some more room to scroll around. Oh, scrolling, feels so free. All right, so header bar, this is gonna be equal to a GTK header bar. And we'll just set header ad bar. All right, there we go. So what you usually wanna do after this is the first function you wanna call is set show close button. And this is gonna make sure that the user can actually close the window. You, you want this on there 99% of the time. I really can't think of any scenario where you would not wanna show the user a close button. Maybe if you're having some kind of weird custom alert and you were forcing them to choose okay or cancel or yes or no and they just couldn't close out of it. But there are alternative ways of doing that too. So we'll see those later, but just put true for right now. And another thing that you may wanna do is change one of the properties on it and to do that you write header bar dot props and what property do you want to change well just the title so I'm just gonna make a stupid program this isn't really gonna work but I'll just call it like ripping music player so we'll pretend we're making the layout for some kind of music player but essentially what this does is it adds a title to your header bar. In other words, a title to the window. So what we can do now is actually start adding some cool stuff other than a title. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add icons to your header bar. And you can actually do these, do this in a couple different ways. And let's add a uh, an icon on the right and I'll add an icon on the left and they'll be a little bit different. So in order to add an icon such as like a graphic or a picture, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a themed icon. That's what type it is. And then we need to convert it to an image. And then we can stick that image on our button. So it sounds weird that you just can't make a button with an image on it. You need to go icon image, stick it on the button. But, you know, I don't make the rules. All right. So I just name it audio button. Set this equal to K button. All right. So we have our button first. And again, the button is the thing that's going to appear overall. And there are actually a bunch of different icons that are already built in um, to your computer. Or you can load your own custom ones if you download them from the internet or whatever. But I'm just going to use some of these that came with uh, the module. So let's do um, GIO. Why isn't this crap popping up for me? Name equals... One I know is gnome dev. All right, so this icon right here 
is an icon. It's just like a little picture of a CD. And I forgot to import GIO or GEO. I not really sure how they pronounce it this week. I'm sure it'll change like in two seconds, but import that module as well. And now we have our icon. Now remember, after we have our icon, we need to convert it to an image. And by the way, if you guys want to look at all the different types of icons that are already built into your system, then um, go do it online. There are a couple different ones, but uh, yeah. So you don't have to like memorize them all. So anyways, for the image, what we're going to do is we're going to go GTK image dot new from G icon right there. Now this takes two parameters. The first one is what was the icon you just created right there? And next, what is the icon size? So icon size, and since this is going on a button, this property is button. So now this is our icon. We converted it to an image. And now with that image, we can just add it to the button. So audio button, that's the thing that's gonna appear on the menu bar, add image. Now we actually need to add the button to the header. So let's just write header bar, pack end, audio button. All right, so if you guys want this button to appear on the left, then you would just write pack start. But I want this icon to appear on the right hand side. So that's why I'm doing pack end, follow your heart, whatever you want to do. And I think I'm gonna burp in like two seconds. Nope, not gonna, that was a joke. Just kidding, I really had to burp, but you know. I'm just gonna keep going now. <laughs> All right, now that's a plain icon. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up over here. All right, so what I wanna do now is I actually wanna show you guys another cool trick and that's how you can create linked items. So if you just add a bunch of these buttons like here, maybe you wanted a bunch of buttons on there, then they're gonna appear to be kind of separated. You can also link items together and when you link them, they appear to be pressed together. So when would you want to do this? You want to do this whenever you have a group of related items, such as maybe all your player controls like uh, play, stop, fast forward, and reverse. Those are all related. They can all control the time of the, of the music. Maybe something else like eject, that's completely different. So you want to throw that in another button. But you guys are going to see in a second. So I'll say create a box of linked items. So I'm going to make a box. I'm going to set this equal to box and the orientation of this is going to be equal to gtk orientation horizontal all right so just left and right you know i don't want to put my buttons on top of each other so that's why we're doing that now another thing that i want to do is this gtk style context Add class, jeez Louise, add class, box, get, style context, and linked. All right, so what this does is it essentially says whatever we put in this box, they're gonna be linked together. So most things up to now we saw whenever we put them in a box, they were separate items, but now, like kind of glue them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a left arrow and a right arrow just because, I don't know, it's really easy to see those kind of related. And these are actually really easy. So left arrow, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name my left arrow and they're just gonna be buttons. And again, these are just gonna be buttons with left arrows and right arrows on them. So left arrow. Add arrow arrow type left and you always have to do some of the shadow so shadow type none all right so whenever you make an arrow like this all you have to do is you say, I'm creating a button, and then I wanna add an object of this arrow class 
to the button. So it's a little bit different than these icons. Um, I don't know why they made them different. I think they should just all make them the same, but what do they care about me? So of course we need to add this to the box. And then we're going to do the same thing with the right arrow, but we're just going to copy this because we are super lazy. Right arrow. Right arrow, right arrow, right arrow. And this is of type right. Now, I also just want to add it to the box plain like this. And since I added this one first, it's by default going to appear on the left. So the last thing that we have to do, two more lines of code, is we actually need to add this entire box to the header. So we added these arrows to the box, but we didn't add the box to the actual header yet. So header bar, pack start box. And also let me add just show you guys real quick just a little text area to the window so a text view like this now a text view is just an area that you can type inside kind of like a text field if you ever use um html and i just want to add something so you know we have something cool to look at and hopefully let me run this bad boy and it did not work because dun, 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 what did i do all right so I actually forgot because I am an idiot to set the title bar equal to our header bar. So it is just using the default one right now. All right. So anyways, after you make your header bar, you have to actually set it from the default title bar. And now hopefully whenever I run this, all right, that looks a tidbit better, mate. So check this out. We made our own custom header bar a lot better than that boring default one. We got a cool title and not only that, but we have our own custom icons built right in. So this is the first one I was talking about when I was talking about icons and images, yada, yada. And this right here is that linked little area. And remember, this is great whenever you have a group of buttons that is related or that are related, however you say it like fast forward, play, stop, and rewind. Those are all usually, you know, appear together. And if you don't link them, then they're just gonna all appear as separate buttons. But look at this. And this is that text field in case you guys were wondering, just an area you can type inside, but rip music player, ready to put this baby to the market, make millions. But I have to uh, teach you guys a few other things first. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yada yada tomato tomato. See you next time.